Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock. It's time for a Magic Live. Now today I'm gonna to be performing a Henry Evans trick. This is a new trick. This is called Oil and Water with Boxes. Now I have to be honest with you, I am not a big fan of this trick. We reviewed it on the on the uh, Craig and Ryan review show. I gave it a very bad mark. Ryan didn't give it a great mark. Sarah's sitting behind the camera. She's seen this before. What do you think of it, Sarah? Uh, not great. You said it's like a Blue Peter trick. Yeah, it's, it's, it's no. <laughs> But, you know, I've spoken to people who absolutely love this and they swear by this trick for the opening of their parlour show. So... Really? Yeah, really. Seriously. Seriously, seriously, like actual gigs. Yeah, people do this at an actual gig. Yeah, they actually do. All oh, right, okay. So for I kids thought, or adults? For, for adults, Sarah. For an adult cabaret show, parlour show. Oh, okay. So, so you know, who am I? You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So I wanted to perform it for you because there's a lot of people that might not have seen the review show that are looking for a live performance of this trick and there's not one on YouTube. So I thought I'd do a live performance for you you um you know i don't do it myself but that doesn't mean that it it wouldn't work for you so, so i've got six packs of cards all together i've got three blue packs of cards uh, and i've got three red packs of cards uh three blue packs three red packs what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the three blue packs of cards and uh i'm going to put them there whoops there we go and i'm going to take the three red packs of cards and i'm going to put them there so we have three three blue packs three red packs and i'm just going to put them next to each other like this now if i was going to mix these cards up i, I would do it uh, i would do it like this i'd take a blue then a red then a blue then a red then a blue then a red and then obviously if i wanted to unmix them oops i would do exactly the same thing however i'm going to try and do this by magic let me just go and get a cloth here we go sarah are you ready for me to do this by magic are you ready for this this is going to be the moment i know you said you don't like this trick but watch do you see the three the, the blue cards and the red cards are separate yeah all i have to do is cover them up and count backwards from five watch one two three Four, five, ta-da! And I have actually mixed them up under the cover of the handkerchief. What do you think of that? I don't think you want me to answer that question. Okay, she's not impressed, but that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. She's not impressed because she thought I was cheating because the handkerchief was there and I didn't cheat. But to prove it to you, I'm going to introduce a elastic band. Here we go, let me just take this elastic band and wrap it around. Now think about this, with an elastic band wrapped all the way around these cards, uh, these packs of cards, there is absolutely no way I can manipulate the cards now. Have a look, look, there's no way I can manipulate the cards there mm -hmm. because the elastic band is holding everything in place. Now do you see they go red, uh, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, yes? Yeah. Watch, one, here we go, two, three and just like that i can separate them just like that look at that completely and totally separate what do you reckon you're more impressed now aren't you mm, not really marginally <laughs> that's not a good trick when sarah doesn't like it um i'll tell you what i'll tell you what look let's see if we can do one more thing i'm going to put these cards uh we're gonna make a kind of a pattern here. So we'll have a uh, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. We'll, we'll put that there. There we go. So we've got red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Six packs of cards all together. I'll try one more thing. Sarah, uh, name a number from one to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What number would you like? Five. Five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. This one right here, the blue pack. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Now check this out, Sarah. Look at this. You could have picked this pack of cards. This pack of cards here, you could have picked, you didn't pick this pack of cards. You could have picked this pack of cards, but you didn't. You could have picked this pack of cards right here. You didn't pick this pack of cards, but you could have. You could have picked this pack of cards right here. And, and the point I'm trying to make is these are all empty. You could have picked any pack of cards. You know, they're very light. And the reason they're very light is because there's nothing in them. They're very light. You could have picked up any of these packs of cards. You could have even gone for six, which would be this pack of cards. You could have gone for any that you wanted to. But you went for this pack of cards right here, this pack right here, and this is the only pack of cards 
with an actual deck inside it, which we can then use to go into our favorite card trick. So there you go, that's the trick. What do you think, Seth? Mm -hmm. She started reading a book now, haven't you? Carry on. <laughs> Guys, uh, I, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan. I love Henry Evans, but I'm not a big fan of this trick at all. Uh, I think there's a lot of better tricks out there. Um, <laughs> most tricks, to be honest, that are out there are better than this. But you know what? I know there's somebody out there that's going to make this a feature of their act. And, you know, the right time, right place. As an opener, you know, maybe you can make it a feature of your act. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, do you agree? Do you like it? Do you not agree with it? Um, leave, a, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to be back again tomorrow at six o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then.